Oh, y'all already know what time it is. It's a priest party. Y'all ain't rocking. Now, when y'all was in the clubs, y'all was rocking. Everybody rock, y'all. Yeah.
I was going to say all right, but that was too corny. And then too predictable. Absolutely. Sometimes you got to shake it up a little bit. Okay. Praise the Lord. Good night, good night, good night. How's my breath now? Earlier she said, your breath is just kicking. Thank God for a wife and a woman that tell you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. They, they fixed this uh, all beets and garlic and celery and something drink for me in the mornings. Mm. And boy, that thing don't stay with me all day. Yeah, and the next day too. <laughs> It's like the scent is like like Jesus. It never leaves you nor forsakes you. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, what an engaging time we had this morning, to me at least. And I just enjoy the exchange. Thank you for joining me. I want to continue in that same vein and make sure you guys are crystal clear and the participatory kind of setting that we can have here where we exchange and maybe some of your inquiries, questions can assist us in making sure we hit the nail right on the head. How about that? That's good. Um, let's go to a, uh, the recap because I saw it at 8 a.m., and then I saw it at 10 a.m., <clears throat> mm -hmm. and they changed the music, Praise and the they changed the whole game. How many of y'all were at 8 a.m., and you saw the video? Did you see it at 10 a.m.? Yeah. You, you saw it at 8 and 10? Yeah. What say ye? Yeah. 10. 10, 10, 10 for the win. Ten for the win. Uh, I don't know who was behind that first uh, music. Well, it doesn't matter. Praise <laughs> the Lord. Good night. Good night from Newark, New Jersey. And uh, Che, God bless you. Nelda, good seeing you. Woo, good night. She said, I'm in the middle of a miracle. Come on. Woo, Jesus. Yes, we are. Somebody shout. I dare you. Me too. Me too. <laughs> I'm in the middle of a miracle. I'm in the middle of a miracle. I don't even know how this thing's going to pan out. But I'm in smack dab in the middle of it. So let's watch this recap video from the 10 a.m. And uh, for you who were at the 8 a.m. and you're just seeing it for the first time from the 10 a.m., I want to hear your thoughts. The roll the video.
Okay, okay, what say ye? Eight from eight to ten. Ten. Ten, ten for the win. Uh, Pastor Wayne said when he saw that shield go down, mm -hmm. it served as a seed. Mm -hmm. Well, can you imagine the harvest? Oh, 30 years. But you know, this is what I've been wearing. You see that? That's what I've been wearing. What in God's name am I going to do? Plant it. Go I'm not going to plant this. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be nice. I, I could make me a ring out of oh, it. Oh, be quiet, be quiet. <laughs> uh, Dante back there says, so it to me. So it to me. <laughs> match your jersey. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Mamas, don't let your babies to grow up to be yeah, cowboys. Cow <laughs> um, yeah, what an intriguing the most memorable thing, is that a good question for you? Uh, 30 years uh, or uh, reflecting back, what would you have done differently? Oh, shoot. I probably would have done a lot of different things differently. I, I mean, that's, I, I, I mean, I haven't stopped to even think about it, but there's a, a few things I probably would have done differently, but the most memorable time is 2014. 2014. How you led without leading. What do you mean? You had led us to a place where oh, in 2014 okay. you didn't have to physically get up and leave. And be there. Be there. Because the ministry leadership. grew. That's good right. leadership. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so it really kind of, to me, measured where we happen to be as a ministry on a whole the stability of it, the strength of it, the faith of it, the leadership. Yeah. Well, you had a big part to play in that. Well, through your development of okay, teaching us like how we're to... we're going to keep going back and forth with this. No, 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 no. But really, I mean, because I, I do think that time spoke a lot about your leadership because none of us would have been able to do what we have done if you hadn't created that already. And I believe because we always have to deal with or accept what comes in the door, so we create what we need to get what we need done, done. So make it a lesson for them. Make it a lesson, yeah. And so, I mean, a lot, it says a lot about you when you're out of place. How will it stand? And this whole thing about legacy going into 30 years, and I think all of us should, I mean, take introspect of where we are in life. It's like, would our lives or would our families or, you know, our friends be able to sustain and still keep going? you know, being strong and being who God has called them to be if we were not there. It says a lot. And I think now is the time, especially at my age, I'm always questioning, okay, what would happen if I'm not here? You know, what would be able to go on, what won't last, and different things like that. Then you begin to tweak it. And you should look into those things now. Absolutely, that's what I'm saying. Now's the time when everything is good because a lot of times people try to make changes when things are bad. And most of the time it's out of panic and you make decisions that are not favorable, not good, you know, to sustain you or to keep you going where you need to go. But if you can make good quality sound choices when things are good, I mean, your book, you know, Before the Storm, is a good locator. It's like things you should have in place. And the stuff that you're teaching now, like today when you was talking about, you know, what do we do now after we have sown our seed? And you're giving instructions. And those are things that we gotta follow through with. It cannot be things that we just hear. Absolutely. The Bible instructs us not to just be hearers only, but to be what? Doers. Doers of the word. We have to do these things. Um, 
go back over to Hebrews chapter number 10 or look up at one of the screens. And I know six, but I was thinking verse 10, but you're absolutely right. Chapter six, verse 10. You know, we got some hecklers behind us, you know, talking about six. <laughs> I mean, there are good hecklers, all right? Um, there are some things I know of now that I would not feel good about going to be with the Lord right now. Mm -hmm. And those are the things that I'm going to be addressing in the immediate future, like this week, next week. We even have sat down to talk about some things that we need to address, like if, God forbid, uh, either one of us or consider yourselves were to depart tomorrow what's in place for what you have left behind and if you can't comfortably lay down and go on to be with the lord without any kind of concerns then it's no time to die like right now i cannot die There are a few things that I have to get straight, okay? And because we don't know when that day is coming, we have to be hasty about taking care of those things. Are you listening to me? Look at your neighbor and say, no one's going anywhere anytime soon. But that's not the stuff we want to talk about. That's not the stuff we want to talk it's, about. I mean, it's like what you said today. We've come late to the party. We've come, we come, we come very late mm -hmm. to the party. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what Leslie Teller Duval is saying. Preparedness. Mm -hmm. You've got to be prepared. And... Uh, Wow, God has gone away to prepare a place for us. I'm sure when we get there, it's prepared. But are we prepared to go? You know, yeah, I'm saved. I'm ready to go. Yeah, we're ready to go. But what about your business? And there are some things, like, there are some things relative to wheels that I need to straighten out. There's an update that has to be made. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to make some changes. Because, like, if you decide, if I go and you decide to remarry, I want to make sure he doesn't get any of my money. Right. Praise the Lord. So it's stuff like that. <laughs> it's stuff it's like, a way to spend it. It's a way you. to spend it. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. A will yeah. would seal that deal. I just act like it's for me. No, 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 yeah, no. Sure. No, 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 no. <laughs> Okay, praise the Lord. Let's move on. <laughs> quick question. Yes, if it's quick. I don't know if I have a quick answer, but quick question. Okay, so in regards to like wheels, and wheels, yes. Are you saying like it's power in the home and stuff like that? How do you necessarily know prepare yourself without scaring yourself? I don't want to write it with the thought like it's about to happen, but I also don't want to not do it. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a point of no, you, no, it's appointed right. unto man wants to die. So we're going regardless. So based upon that understanding, I want to know that I have things prepared because I have an appointment with departing. You see what I mean? And that doesn't say you're, you're planning a trip now, you know, that's just to say, whenever I take that trip, <laughs> I'm ready to go. Caprende? Indiendo? That means understand. Yeah, my father, he used to would not talk about wheels and stuff. Like, no, like that was like some, uh, what you call it? Like some omen or something like yeah like ooh it's crazy give me tpt please let's look at this because i want you to know 
in what you have done and are doing for ministry or as unto the Lord, <clears throat> you should never look for any accolades of the flesh. If you get them, fine. If you don't get them, I mean, naturally, in the natural, people should appreciate your accomplishments. But if for whatever reason they don't, you, you know what I mean? <clears throat> don't let that get you twisted and, and messed up and, and disappointed because I talked to a group of pastors just this past stretch conference and I talked to them about motive, model, and method. Ladies and gentlemen, all of us will in the end be judged for our why. Why we did what we did. Was it to be seen? Was it to be recognized? Was it to have more followers on Instagram? Was it to have more friends on Facebook? What, did we want to go viral? What, what, why did we want? We wanted acceptance from others. Uh, was that to gain approval? Criffle O'Donnell did this wonderful lesson on approval addiction. There are a lot of people who are addicted to approval, and you do things seeking the approval of so many others, right? There's only one person. Mm -hmm. There's only one person, ultimately, that you should seek the approval of first. Now, I seek the approval of my wife, you see, because I'm married to her. I seek the approval of my children. You understand what I mean? But ultimately, I want to be approved of God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Because I promise you, if you have God's approval, mm -hmm. in most cases, mm -hmm. you're going to have the approval of everyone else around you. Mm -hmm. I mean, those who love you, right. those who hate hating on you, you may not have their approval. Mm -hmm. Okay, so are we ready to go? For God, the what's one? The faithful one is not unfair, or he's not unrighteous or unjust. How can he forget the beautiful work you have done for him? For who? Him. For him. He remembers the love you demonstrate as you continually, what? Serve his beloved ones for the glory of his name. If it's for the glory of your name, you've blown it. The Bible says you have your reward, right? But we long to see you passionately do what? Advance, Advance until the end, and you'll find your hope what, class? Fulfilled. Fulfilled. <clears throat> it goes on to say, so don't allow your hearts to grow dull or lose your enthusiasm, right, D? Mm -hmm. Don't lose your enthusiasm. In spite of how I may act, oh, yeah. don't lose your enthusiasm. So many people are thrown off by other people, others' behaviors. Absolutely. And don't let somebody come to you and tell you something about someone else that you were enthusiastic about, and now you got some, no some news from a tailbearer mm -hmm. that you are no longer enthusiastic about them because somebody said something negative about them to you. Go find out for yourself. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And God forbid a bunch of leaders get together and share their displeasures in any group or any organism or organization, any corporation, any institution, a bunch of, God forbid the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, leaders get together and ask each other, well, what do you think about that? You got to be careful and guard your heart concerning your enthusiasm. He says, don't get dull or you lose your enthusiasm, but follow the example of those who fully receive what God has promised. Mm -hmm. Hang with those who have your answer. Get away. get away from those who have your problem. And there are so many people who get so thrown off by things that's generated in the flesh. They are extrinsically motivated by things that happen around them. 
and when that's no longer available, the motivation to do what they do is gone. Mm -hmm. You see, but rather they should be what, Didi? Intrinsic. Intrinsically what? Motivated. 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 <laughs> I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. It just came moan. No, no. Like, if somebody else around you quit and doing good, but that's your girl. You know what? I ain't feeling the way I used to feel about Mike and Dee Dee. You know, I don't think I'm going back there anymore. And then they put your light out for no justifiable cause. Now, none of this is happening. Thank God. So I'm not addressing any person walking around, talking to people. And I certainly have. Well, I've talked to only Dr. Dee about one something. However, she's the only one. But this is not something that I've heard that's going around. That's a good leadership who has foresight and can cut off things long before it happens, if it's going to happen. At least you would have been what? Warned. Warned. The Bible says warning, warning comes, before comes before what? Destruction. Turn to your neighbor and say, you yeah. know your mom, no. Uh, <laughs> know your friends are going to be able to put my light out <laughs> for any reason. <laughs> See, that's why you got to be comfort comfortable and confident that God has called you to do something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got it? Mm -hmm. Because when other people wanted to quit on some people, I never had. You remember back in the day when some people were turning on this other person and they expected for me to go with them and oh. I didn't go with them. Mm -hmm. I stayed with the person that they thought I should walk away from. Mm -hmm. Some people aren't led by the spirit. They're led by the influence or the persuasion of others and when they get offended you get offended with them mm -hmm. because you're driven mostly by preference more than principle and you have you have respect to a person mm -hmm. that can drive you to do that uh yeah. some people were like kind of uptight with me and when that one person got uptight with me a bunch of other people were uptight with me now, I've not, I've not that happened. That happens to you a couple of times. I mean, it happens oh. to the best of us. Well, I pray it never happens again. <laughs> well, it doesn't even matter worked. to me. Well, it is. It but you've been me. right there with me, and yeah, you watch me come out this, on top every time. This whole love walk is, is... It's beautiful. It's a beautiful it's, thing. It's amazing. <laughs> it's a, it's, no, it's a beautiful... It's amazing. No, it is the most exciting life. Man, love... You got to be convinced that love wins. Good God of mine. Selah. Paul said love never fails. You got to be secure in who you are. Very secure. No, Because really. I'm in him. Right. I, I mean, this isn't just about you. I'm just talking in general. I'm going to get you out the flesh, baby. It's all right. I'm working on it. Yeah, it's okay. I'm working on it. Yeah, it's all right. I ain't, I ain't deep, deep I in the flesh. I understand, but baby. So talk about it. I am a little in the flesh. Well, the how do you really feel when these things happen? Does that sound like your therapist? Yeah. Uh -huh. No, but no, sometimes really it's challenging, but you, you understand. Did you say it really is childish? Challenging. Oh, I heard childish. Well, because you would hear that. And probably want to pass out pacifiers right now, <laughs> but no. <laughs> Just jam that thing in your mouth. No, because it's it's. I, I want to get to the place where my actions and my feelings are in alignment. Yeah. Oh wait, wait! Yeah. I didn't hear that okay, right. Okay, hear didn't this compute. right, because I don't act on what I feel. I act on what the word tells me to do in situations, but that ain't always how I feel. And so I'm, I'm growing up to the place where there's an alignment, where I am really feeling what God has told me to do. Because it's like you can Oh, where you to have it. baptized yourself so much in agape. Right. Where when 
there is it doesn't even phase you the possibility like, I look at of you hurting sometimes and I'm like dang how you get there you look at me that way yeah just a little don't let your head get too <laughs> No, because you you are pretty amazing with that. It, it trips me out because I've, I've seen some situations where I want, it's like if I was that mafia white. Kill him, Mike. Kill him. Nah, get him. Yeah. Don't let him get away him. with that. I just kind of want to go around and just be a snap, uh, sniper. And oh, Lord, Jesus. Y'all stretch your hands towards your first lady. And I say, come on, Bobo. But I mean, let her go. <laughs> Set her free. No, but I get it. I understand the word and I understand my love walk. And so I know what I'm supposed to do. So now I'm saying, I want to get to the place where it doesn't, where I am numb to it, where it doesn't fade. Where you're me, dead. Where I'm dead to it. That's, that's and I'm not always, always dead to what people do. Because sometimes people will do some things that you just look at them like. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Really? Right. Yeah. But you go on like, nothing is huffing here. <laughs> <laughs> like, Let's go out to eat. Like, no, no. No, when are you going to come over the house? I'm like, I'll be in the background. Never. <laughs> <laughs> Don't die. See, y'all laughing too well. Like, y'all liking this. Like, no. No, they liking this. Yeah, no, they, you giving them justification. No, no I'm not. No, no I'm they, not. No. Yes, that, you are. That locating. It's, it's, what? It's real. That is not real. It is real. It is not your reality. It's not. Oh, my God. But no. Are you going to listen to me or her? No. Oh, you her? Well, then, no. nightcap no. with Dr. D. <laughs> No, Are you, let's see what they're saying. They don't care, I don't no. care what they're saying. No. That's real talk. Sonia doesn't too. know what she's talking yes. about. Yes. No, but, no, you are like a barometer for no, me. No, no, God. No, listen, 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 for real, get listen. Your, get your hand Listen, up. Linda, listen, hand. listen, listen, listen. Right, and I'm not, now, but, but I will, I, my point is okay. Bring your voice down. Oh, because they told yeah, me don't. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can hear me. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm trying to say. But she told me don't whisper. She said whispering is the worst. Yeah. I never knew that people whisper like this. She said yeah. that's the worst because it doesn't allow your vocal cords to vibrate the right way or something. Okay, whatever. But <laughs> no, my actions. My actions are, oh my God. no, listen. Oh, Jesus. I'm listening, I'm listening, I promise. No, I really want you to hear me, though. I'm, I'm listening, baby. Because my actions are in alignment with yours, but my feelings aren't always there. And that's what I want to get over there. Because, like, I, in my mind, you know, when somebody do certain things, I know my response has to be a certain way, so I respond according to the word, but I want to not be able to feel it. Okay, it un okay, guys, understand this. Understand this. You will always have your feelings. God gave them to you. Mm -hmm. Feelings are only identifiers, mm -hmm. not deciders. Right. No, okay, understand this. So, Q, you will feel some of this dumb stuff that Tia will do. You will feel it. You'll feel it. You <laughs> You'll feel it, but it's an identifier. It's just like somebody walking up to you. Listen to me, class. Somebody walking up to you and stick you with a stick pen. You're like, can you feel it? But then you know this. Oh, they, they, they stuck me. That was to allow you to know you have been stuck. I felt that. But now, what you do with what you just felt is the key. Right. You do not let it linger, let it live, don't tolerate it. I feel when people say crazy stuff to like me. It. 
I don't because you I've learned how to manage this. That's that's what Okay, I what I'm saying is I feel it. I feel like Oh, oh. so this is good. Let's talk Yeah, about yeah. It. Because you can't get away from that that feeling. You'll have a feeling but you never about seem it. seem like it. Yes, because when you practice it long enough, it becomes easier to do. People say, that's easier said than done. Well, do it long enough, and it will be done easier. But see, that right there even freed most of us up. Because for me, I'm thinking, okay, if I'm dead, I shouldn't even feel some of the dumb stuff people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I understand feelings. I understand feelings, and I understand their full purpose. Because we didn't create them. God gave us these feelings for a purpose. So I understand that. But I'm talking about, I thought that the whole lesson was to almost control even the feeling of wanting to respond, you know, something opposite of what the word tells you to do. Um, let me tell you how off that is. And you're thinking, and I hope you all can relate to this. There are people who, if they put their hand in the fire, mm -hmm. they will not feel it. Yeah. Right. Pardon There's me? some people who have. That's true. I, I know it's true. I said it. Uh -huh. <laughs> what, what are they called? There's an official name. Uh -huh. Yeah, whatever, whatever it is. They, they have no sensitivity right. to pain. Bones, Guess what stuff. will happen to that person? Will eventually burn up until they realize their hand is on fire, they don't feel it. Mm -hmm. You will feel an attack that's designed to get you prepared for what you need to do. If so you if you walked fight, around fight. people, you, you need to just kind of remove yourselves sometimes or whatever the spirit would have. The spirit, the spirit, the spirit, the spirit would have you to do. Are you understand what I'm saying? Yes. So you can identify that you're being attacked. Yeah. Oh, this is an attack. Well, I don't overcome evil with evil, right. but I know it's an evil attack. Right. I feel evil. Mm -hmm. If I never felt evil, then I'll keep moving towards evil without being able to guard myself with respect to the wisdom of God and what he told me to do and how to navigate myself. Is this making any yes. sense to you? Yes. Did you find the name? History? Sensory. 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 Sensory deprivation. Okay, sensory deprivation. So now, when you don't have any senses towards what someone is doing. Like your senses, you're walking in um, impending danger. Well, God wants you aware of that. Absolutely. You Absolutely. see what I'm saying? And you will feel like you ever been, uh, uh, have an intuition about someone is looking at you? Right. I Totally get it as far okay. as your feelings so, are so then that. once you feel that, then you respond totally in the spirit. Oh, they hate me. <laughs> well, what do you do to those who hate you? You love them. Oh, come here. I, have I done anything wrong to you? I sincerely want to apologize because we don't need to have any problem. You're my brother in Christ. I'm I'm, I'm your brother in Christ, and mm -hmm. let's fix this. Mm -hmm. we, we, can't, we don't have time for this. We got a real devil. We can't be fighting one another. No, try to work it out, and then you'll tell. You'll be able to see, oh, they got some real serious problems with it. Now, you don't say, you got a problem with me, <laughs> then I got a problem with you. Right. You go start praying for them. Right. You, this, oh, Lord Jesus. No, we can This act. is a real spiritual yeah, battle we're Absolutely. In. And then we're going to act like mere mortals. 
then we lose, we're, we're going to lose right out of the gate. Mm -hmm. So when you find out someone doesn't like you, go to work. They don't like me. How could you not like me? And then you pour on them the love of God. Hey, is there anything I can help you with today? I, I kind of sense that maybe you don't like me. If you don't like me, I really would like to fix it. Yeah, I don't have a... I, I mean, force them to tell you the truth. Right. And if they don't tell you the truth, they're, they're, that's their business. But then the Spirit of God will let you know. They are lying. Mm -hmm. But then what do you do? All right, I know they lie, so I'm going to fix them. See, see, one day, you're going to have to get out of the flesh. Like, if you're not acknowledged about something that you've done in this ministry, and I don't come to you or mention your name, you got to be able to walk around me and say, hey, Pastor, you know, man, I felt some kind of way when you didn't mention my name. If, if that's where you are in that stage, I would never do that. I mean, I really wouldn't. But for a baby, pride, huh? Is it pride? No, that's not pride because that's where I am. I think it's crazy for someone who hates you and they don't know you. Well, that's it, it is right. spiritual. We heard that. Yeah, well, I mean, they, they, yeah, they, they hate me and don't know me. A lot of yeah, when I feel attacked, I'm, I simply slow down and show kindness and smile. Okay. Right. That, Holy Spirit warns and leads then. But do you understand what I'm saying? I know saying? exactly what okay, you're saying. Good, good. And then you go into the all them. The flesh is not only our reality. The flesh is not our reality anymore. We walk in the spirit of God. And if you walk in the spirit, you will not fulfill the lust of the To choose to respond. And y'all 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 are being real spiritual on these on on this on these boards i want you to be real spiritual in real life i mean i mean real episodes right b b said love the hell out of them look at b b you need to go wash your mouth out with soap treyana said what about the ones that show love but they really there to hate you. Wow. Oh man, keep loving them. Right. That scripture, ooh, they, they just popping in too good now. B okay. Up. B cracking up. All right, who cracking up? B. B is cracking up with her foul mouth. <laughs> <laughs> B said, love the hell out of them. <laughs> I wonder what Pastor Wayne thinking about that right now. Love the hell out of them. You know, people got hell in them. Yeah. And I love seeing them come out of it. No, I love seeing them come out of it. I have loved the hell out of so many people. Yes, you have. I, I mean, I've watched it. Where they have turned from enemies to like, yeah. dude. Just this week. What? Which one? I mean, you've been, you've been, I mean. <laughs> Just this week, I mean, he was work. He'd been working on, you know, someone for years, and he called. He's always calling. Always calling. And he called this week, and you know, they both of them, the husband and wife, just jumped on the phone and started talking to him like it was beautiful. Like thing. we have never had a problem, and, and never I, challenged. I, and then you don't have to and go see, back me, and say. I be wanting to say, let's address this. And I, it's not Y'all got okay. Ooh, y'all got work to do. I know. This, is what, this, this is what I'm saying. We know we know we got problems. Uh, somebody to run to my office. I got a bag of gold plated no, pacifiers. We don't have <laughs> no, but I don't do that, but I'm telling you that's where I am at times. And it's like you Let me tell you something. go over here, you gotta stay Don't over you here. dare get sixty and seventy and 80 years old with that same spirit. Well, I'm already 60, so I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying. You I keep forgetting you 60. <laughs> you forgot. I, I, I really do, I keep, but no, you are 60. Me. I don't, I, I'm like probably 
Well, you know, I consider myself like one of the nicest people. You, you are. Dude. If you do something wrong to me, I don't just turn on you like that, but I process it different. Yeah, you do. Than you do. Yeah. Cause I'm always like, man, I didn't sow that. And how did I reach that? She gets that? so disappointed. Yeah. Yeah. She gets so di to, to, to her detriment. It's like, Mike, I didn't do anything to them. Oh my God, how could they? And see, I don't dwell on that. Because we wrestle not. What? Wait, 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 wait. It's not, no, a, it's, it's not a man thing, I promise you. It is. A, I, I don't think so because it's governing I know it's your man. emotions. Yeah. It's governing your emotions. You know, it's, 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 they, they talking to themselves now, baby. <laughs> they having their own night cat. <clears throat> Y'all want the mic, come get it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let us hear. Let yeah, us hear. yeah. Give her a mic. Give her, give her a mic. mic. Yeah, okay. Well, you take the mic. Your examples have been challenging because you said um, once while teaching, have you ever seen a corpse respond? Yeah. When somebody said something, I yeah. was like, well, dang, I'm not dead because yeah. I still respond. Well, that that's it. that's a little Even extravagant when you do the and right thing. Yeah. If I feel it, then the judgment. Oh, no, 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 that isn't true. That isn't true. That's the equivalent of somebody having a thought of doubt and thinking they good. have doubted in their heart. That's good. That's very good. You just had a thought of doubt. That doesn't mean you doubting in your heart because mm -hmm. thoughts will come your way. Mm -hmm. now, now what you do with what has happened yes. determines whether or not you're right. dead. You understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I mean, uh, they lied on you, and you know they lied on you, and then they're looking in your face and telling you they didn't lie on you. What what you gonna do with that? Then you gonna say you're a liar? No, you can say. <laughs> okay, first of all, you gotta get in control of your tone. <laughs> You, working it out. you got, She's yeah, working but you got, first of all, first of all, you need a neck brace because you got too much movement in your neck. You, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, you need it. You need it. Wait, you need a mic so they can hear online. It's the reaction, and it's what you said. I think it's about working on your response. To it, and I do that. I try my best. I, I really do. I'm like, oh, this is not good, and it just happens. And I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry, God. I didn't mean it, and it's not intentional. So it's good that you're like that. My husband's like that. Nothing bothers him, but everything. I'm gonna react to it. Would they say to you? And and I gotta check myself. So hearing you all say this, I see what you're saying. I'm not really trying to live in the flesh, but sometimes it's so hard. I'm telling you, um, it really is. I, I got to pray. Uh, no, I'm, I'm not bad, but sometimes it can be hard not to react because I'm trying to say that's not true. And why Listen would you to say me. that about me? Let's go to the scripture. Mm -hmm. The way of the transgressor yeah. is hard. something to say right here behind us. When you simply have difficulty reconciling the truth as being your way of living, it's going to be hard. This is the way I live because this is the way Jesus commanded me to live. I've reconciled that. You got it? It's, it's, it's not going to be hard for me. Now, transitioning, because she'll tell you, I have been where she's talking about and she's watched me transition because I would respond and I would react. But because I've embraced, oh, Pastor Wayne said something. Stephanie, you, you, you uh, uh, prep that, uh, that 
clip where Pastor Wayne answered my question at 10 a.m. Let me hear from Steph, and then we'll go past it to Pastor Dwayne. Um, wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's good. It's not, it's not enough to just say, use your scriptural authority or, or take authority over it. You have to have some practicum that you put in place, like some things that you uh, just do. I take the word like John chapter number 14. And I, I flip it every which way but loose. It says, let not your heart be troubled. Mm -hmm. I'll say, Mike, you're not troubled. Mike, your heart will not be troubled. Okay? You will not care about what you care about. You won't care. I take my cares and I cast them. Sometimes I don't even go to the door, open them, open the door and throw the care out. Care, you gotta go, matter of fact, get your mama worried, cause mama's behind it. You know, get worried, y'all come on, y'all get, I'm, I'm not gonna stay up and worry and care about what the devil tried to do to me because I, I take everything I know to the next level and exhaust it. Like if I get a little information, like how does Pastor Jeff get a pink slip and just stay with a pink slip and not go further. And you think he's listening? You think he's on here now? Yes, lean on brother. I, I, take, it, lean on brother. I take it to the next level. I, I'm, not, I'm not going to let the devil get a two four. Okay, so they said something that could potentially wound me and I'm gonna stay up and worry about the wound? That's that's compounding that one thing and it's designed to kill, steal, and destroy. Mm -hmm. So I cast my care. I'm not going to nurse my hurt. I will not hurt over this. God has given me peace that surpasses all understanding. I'll go to sleep and I'll have sweet sleep. No, I talk to me. Okay, Mike Freeman, that's enough of that one. No, no, you, you got to, you have to to take authority through and by the word of God because there's no temptation, test, mm -hmm. tribulation that's common to man that has not been used. Mm -hmm. Watch this. That God has now already made a way of escape. Absolutely. So I'm looking for the escape way out of this but e it, every single time. But it goes back to what I said in the beginning as well. You got to be a real secure person. I mean, so you got to build yourself up in the word, knowing who you are, because if not, you will take everything that everyone does to you personally. But this is a, this is a regiment. Yeah. It's no. a regiment with a revelation. Yeah. Right. No, a I, regiment without a revelation uh -huh. is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How about those R's? That's good. Absolutely. Yeah, because you got to keep doing it. I have a routine. But, yeah. I don't do these things when these things happen. Right. I'm working in this word every single day about, that's what I'm saying. Right now, I know there's some things that if I were to go to be with the Lord right now, I don't like the condition that they're in. Stephanie, based upon your own admission, I let things bother me. That's something I would go to work on right now. Maybe things are good right now. You're not concerned or worried or having sleepless nights about what someone has done or said, da, 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 da. Now I'm going to work while there's nothing to work on. Yeah. And I'm building outside of a storm. That, that's what she said, the book, before the storm. I'm doing all of the necessary work. You see, I had to deal myself because when I reflect back on the 30 years 
one of my biggest or things I would change is my immaturity. I've been so immature throughout this 30 years. Even in the 40 years, 14,451 days we've been married. Mm -hmm. right? the, the immaturity that I've walked in has been our biggest problem. Well, both because it, no, it wasn't, uh, no, uh, yeah. no, no, I no, no, you no. You take on yours, see, let me but I got own mine. mine. That's, and see, you got to get out of that. You got to get out of casting blame. Mm -hmm. Own what you, be responsible for what you've done. Yeah. Own up, be big enough, da, 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 da. And then be mature enough because of some of the stuff she was doing, if I was mature enough through those things, they wouldn't have bothered me. And then when they, I let them bother me, they just compound the stuff that she did. It got worse because of my immaturity. If I just laid back and just said, you know what? Some of this comes out of age and growth. That's but you can become an old fool That's true. That's and true. never grow up. Yes? So I have a question. Pastor, that was good, everything that you said. So what I'm dealing with now, and I've come a long way. Glory to God. God paid. I promise you, it's the agape and honor. I believe So you. a friend, uh -oh. who I thought was a friend. Okay. Why can't they money, still be a friend? Well, well I'm working on it. I'm, I'm like what Dr. Didi was saying, because I thought they was my friend. This is money involved. Okay. Right? Not, I, <laughs> 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 Why that hand? That hand. No, no, no. Now you see that hand? Um, Like over $11,000. I gave somebody to do some interior decorating. Anyway, oh, wow. A friend. Oh, wow. So... They, I gave them the money, I trusted them, and I probably now learned a lesson to get contracts and cease or whatever, whatever. But they gave me used, dirty furniture. Okay. And so. Oh, I wonder if I know who they are. Dee Dee. I didn't say it, it was them. But I know somebody. But why even open your mouth? So. Talk to me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what? <laughs> I love her. Okay. We're going to get together. Cause <laughs> if it is who I think it is. So, <laughs> the agape and honor has really helped me, and Holy Spirit has really helped me. It's really, I'm, I love I'm it. telling you, I've come a long way. I love it. <laughs> I love it. A long way. I love it. Um, And I tried talking to this person. Yeah. You know, asked for receipts. But now it's almost like they're not responding. Yeah. So Holy Spirit did tell me this morning, just let it go. They already know what they did. Yeah, they yeah. They know what they did. Yeah, right. You learn from this. Yeah. And whatever you you gave them, you're going to get it back. Like, yeah. Leave it alone. Come on. But I'm telling you, I mean, I've talked to Rhonda, and it's almost like you want to do right, but of course, every time you want to do right, the evil is always right. present. Hey, Pastor. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> For real, the way you no, but then when Dr. Didi said, which it was a reason that you said what you said, because it blessed my life. Because, of course, I'm, I'm straight now and doing what the word said, but in, in my flesh, I ain't going to get a warrant, lock this chick up. No, I'm serious. But it's like I have to do what Holy Spirit tell me to do. And some of the examples that you was just saying, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to apply that to my life because I find walking in agape, Walking in love really does shift, and it feels good when you do. It, <coughs> it feels you so it good. Does. I got Ooh, partners in hard. this ministry right now that I see every Sunday almost. Believers in the body of Christ. One of them owe me thirty thousand dollars. What? That hurts you more than it hurts me. I know too many people who refused to pay me and died. I'm like, dude. And they know him. Okay, and God knows I don't want them to die. I want them to live. I want them to live so much so they can keep seeing how God has increase me and bless me and I'm even opening my heart to hear from God if they need another dime God you tell me and I'm gonna pull the trigger I'm gonna go I ain't gonna ever give them another dime 
I'm disqualifying myself. And he's not like that. I fought with you. He's not like that. I'm ready to give him more. Let God say so. Then you ain't going to be a fool and just keep giving them. That's what I'm saying. You got to become so sensitive to the voice of God where you know God wants you to blow them away. You, you know God wants you. I'm not talking about with your hand gun. <laughs> That girl can be hearing something entirely different. Because I carry a gun. You know. Holy Spirit will keep you in an arena of peace. Your flesh will have you exposed in fear and distraught. Something like that. Play that. Play that. Play that. Uh, you, Lord, y'all oh, took this in an entirely shown different your love Thank you, Father to Pastor. Who? Yeah, it's a great example. By caring for who? And grow me. As you, what do you have? It's it's uh. uh All you, you have, have shown it? your love to, to who? Yeah. By caring for who? As you, you what? Put it up on the screen. Look at verse number eleven. Read it, sweetie. I'll, okay, I was looking down and you standing in front of it. Our great desire is that you will keep on loving others as long as life lasts in order to make certain that wow. what you hope for will come true. Come on, what right next verse? Then you will not become spiritually dull and indifferent. Instead, you will follow the example of those who are going to inherit God's promise because of their faith and endurance. Now, now, now Pastor Wayne, you work very hard in this ministry. Okay, this is a question. Listen. Got a question for you. Pastor Ray Keechee. I guess Pastor Jeff will get this right. Have you ever needed to be acknowledged by anyone of all of these years you have put in the work? Now, I've never asked him that question. No, I, I, I didn't have a need, but I think early I had a, a feeling. See, there you go. I, 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 I had a... Uh, I probably would have had a question early in, early in ministry. See, that's all natural. But then when I stopped looking and learning, I found out that I don't need that. You take on the reality the of the truth. The ones who need that, to me, show me that I got a little growing up to do. Because if you need it, when you don't get it, you'll cut up. <clears throat> and it's wild because what you are looking for or what you are looking at can be true. Yep. But you need to look at, put some value to it to see if it's worth where you're going to. Mm -mm -mm. Like, like, why pull off the road for a distraction that is true when you are going towards the truth? Because something true will keep you in bondage, but truth will keep you always being free. So I want to put value on like where I'm going because where I'm going carries more weight than what's trying to pull me over on the side of the road. And I think that one years ago, I kind of I kind of broke that because, you know, one time you grew up, they, you wanted it at the end of the program, your name to be called. And when you didn't get called, you had a little feeling. I, I, had, I had to break that because you ain't going to do ministry and do it well you need the applause from somebody else. Because if you are serving, you should be serving for only one audience, and that's him. Okay, now watch this. It's, it's it's be mindful of uh, the trap. We done so or well be mindful of God what you want to accomplish. Come on, guys, cut it. Be, I'm talking, I mean, be mindful of what you want to do. Why do you want to go in God? And you're going to let this be a distraction? Amen. And the distraction is true, but it's not the truth. 
There's a difference between, okay, it's true that they are saying, I have a challenge in my lungs. But the truth is, I'm healed. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The doctor says this, the scripture says this. Now, which one are you going to go with? But you can pull off the road with something being true. It's true they talked about you. But I want to keep my eyes on becoming more like him. And I'm not pulling off the road for you. If I pull off the road for you, I'm defeating my purpose and glorifying him. But if I keep glorifying him, he'll make even my enemies be at peace. Put all this together and fight the good fight of faith when you feel it. Yeah, but you got you to gotta do that. You got to practice yes, that absolutely. before you're in a situation. A absolutely. And then take advantage of it absolutely. when you are. Absolutely. But that's why the Bible says be vigilant. Be, be, be vigilant. 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 Be vigilant. I couldn't get in. I'm thinking about a... Uh, uh, vigilante. Uh -huh. Me too. Be, be vigilant, right? Be sober because your adversary, yeah. the devil, seeketh, goes to and fro, seeketh whom he may devour. He looking to devour you. Let me see if I can get them today. And, and then you be like, you got your neck moving like that. He said, oh, deck with that neck, deck with that neck. That go Eve. Seeking. It's obvious he doesn't know it's you because he's seeking. If he knows you, he wouldn't have to seek. He'll just come get you. But he... It's a, that's flesh. He'll sniff out flesh and come and find you and grab you and harass you. Oh, he will harass you. He will harass you. And you are not to be harassed not another day in your life. I dare you to throw your hands up and shout, I'm in the middle of a miracle. I'm in the middle of a miracle. Ooh, Jesus. So you've all done good. You've done good. You've done good. You've fared well. Don't let anyone throw you off of your game. You see, I wish I would have responded in the past like I do today. But that immaturity had me. Oh my God. The immaturity just, that's what it is. As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word of God. You see, there are a lot of people, the Bible says, who senses, where is that in Hebrews? Find it and then we can get out of here. Uh, let's see. Whose senses have not been exercised. Uh, let's see. Um, who still are on Hebrews 5. Hebrews 5, uh, verse number like 11. For by now you ought to be teachers somewhere along there. And then it goes down further. It's verse 12. But we need to, we need to go down from 12. Hebrews 5 and 12 in the TPT or whatever you can get real fast. Who plays tonight? It doesn't matter? Yeah. 49ers lost to Minnesota Vikings last Sunday. So now they're 5 and 2. And Philadelphia Eagles won today. So now they're 6 and 1. So I'm officially a Philadelphia Eagle. <laughs> I'm no longer a 49. Dallas is, yeah, you won, but your your record is like five and two. I don't know, four and three. Five and two. 
That's still behind Philadelphia, my team. For, <laughs> for you should already be professors instructing others by now, but instead you still need to be taught from the beginning the basis of God's prophetic oracles. You're like children still needing milk, and not yet ready to digest solid food. Oh my God, that should, that should, that should insult you. For every spiritual infant who lives on milk is not yet pierced by the revelation of righteousness. But solid food is for the who? My biggest problem was immaturity whose spiritual senses perceive heavenly matters. Man, you take the high road. What Michelle say? Some of y'all think when they go low, we go lower. And they have been adequately trained by what they have experienced to emerge with understanding of the difference between what is truly excellent and what is evil and harmful. Verse 15, now is the time for us to do what? Progress beyond the what? Basic message of Christ and advance into moving from the foundation that has already been laid for us to build upon turning away from what? Our dead works and I have faith in God. Say that. I have faith in God. Say, I have faith in God's word. I have faith in God's word. And so when I comply, so when I comply with the word of the living God, with the word of the living God I will never lose. I will never lose. And it glorifies the Father it which is in heaven. See, I, my goal, ladies and gentlemen, for years has been making it to heaven. I just want to go to heaven. I just want to make it to heaven. Mm -hmm. I just want to get in. Mm -hmm. And I discover heaven is a part of the acceptance of a free gift mm -hmm. that Jesus wrought on our behalf. When I heard thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven, it was a game changer. So my job is to show this evil world heaven and to bring heaven here on earth. Are you listening to me? Days of heaven, shout that days of heaven, days of heaven. at my current address. Okay, question. Oh, I thought you was worshiping God this time. Because I, I saw your hand a long time ago. I said, she caught up. She was like, mm, every time I looked over there. No. Yes, ma'am. Go <coughs> I don't think everybody understands that it's really a spiritual warfare. So what helps me is I don't take anything personal. Like the enemy can't catch me like outside of my home. So he tries to attack in my relationship. And as soon as I feel away, I don't speak. I, I start praying immediately. And Lord knows, <laughs> ooh, Jesus, without consistency and without him, had I not been praying, oh, my man had been gone a long time ago. <laughs> Your man. My man. You on camera, you know. And he yeah. know what's going on. He, okay, all right. And it's just by the grace of God. Jesus. See, and, and that's what we talk about being led by the Bible. In the natural, she's already telling you, he had been gone a long time ago. But she don't live in the natural. In the natural, Dee Dee would have put me away a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Gone. But she doesn't live in the natural. And I kept praying. I said, God, I just want to go. I want to go. And I kept hearing the Holy Spirit say, it's not about you. It's not about you. And some of your family members and friends are going to call you a fool. Well, you say it's fine, 
But when they really, really call you fool, girl, if I was you, I'd get out of there. But see, that's why I don't associate my, they don't know my business. What okay. Going in my home stays in my Sometimes home. you can't tell your family your business. You can. Everybody is not your friend, but the Lord is. Well, well it depends. It depends. It, she may, it depends. I'm not going to say she may not should get out of it. We don't really know her situation. I don't know her, so maybe you know more about I don't about know anything it. about Because, like, if you say my man, that sounds like a boyfriend. And if it's a boyfriend and I'm feeling like that, I'm out. Yeah. So, you know, it, it all depends. It, it just depends. So sometimes we got to make sure we're giving the, the right information from the right... <laughs> place with the right you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying <laughs> so I'm not trying to laugh or play with you but sometimes we can give information from a perspective and not have all of the information and I wouldn't want you to walk out of here if that's not your situation where we're giving you information from you understand what I'm saying? I understand completely I don't I'm not worried about like oh. I said, I, I, I seek all my answers that? from the it Lord. Don't me. She said she didn't worry about it. I don't have to go home with her. <laughs> so that doesn't bother me. That's what I'm saying. Like what she no, said. No, 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 no. Let me finish. Because of what you said. Oh, we, we got some here. Let's see this. <laughs> Let's see this flesh play out. No, it's not. Like she said, we take things too personal. Yeah. We can't take it personal. I can't take that personal. So How does this make you feel? You know I don't care. <laughs> he know I don't care. He trying to meddle. I, I really don't. I mean, no. I, that was such wisdom what? that you shared with her. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because when I heard man, I automatically just said yeah, husband. Yeah. When, yeah. And when she said man, him. and when she said man, that could be some boyfriend. Absolutely. And she got to be almost borderline insane to be tolerating some man who ain't married her. Absolutely. And, and you, you need don't know what she going home and, to. And she need to get her high and pot out of there. Oh, and come talk to me. Because there's some other things that's going on inside of that house yeah. that's just so ungodly. Yeah. Take and that you're not off of her. And, 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 and it ain't glorifying God no way, no how. Mm. And then if y'all going to let me love you, yeah. let me love you, that ain't a put down. Right. See, because some of you women tolerating some stuff. You ain't you got no man. And then and then and then he smashing. And then he ain't marrying. I mean, what? And then he causing problems at the same time. And God forbid some of them ain't even working. Yeah. And, and yeah, if he don't work, how are you getting so fat? Cause he ain't supposed to be eating. Yeah. No, but what I'm saying, you don't get fed here. You go get fed somewhere where you get a job. You, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't understand how godly women like subject themselves to certain things at times. Now, we all can blow it. Dee Dee has blown it. She's made some. Talk about yourself, though. Talk about yeah, yourself. Yeah, well, no. <laughs> I'm just no, talking about have, with I respect have, to. I have. I've no, no. Dumb. I'm talking about with respect to me. Well, you oh, yeah. and before you dumb, just yeah. doing stuff. It's like so we all have now is different. We all have dumb days. Absolutely. But don't take a residency. Don't start living with dumb days. You know what I'm saying? Get yourself, get yourself established, where, you know. Because I was just in, and then we got to quit. I was just in a meeting, uh, a new partners meeting, and and it was two girls in the block, and I said, "Oh, uh, you all r related or something?" And uh, and the girl said, "This is my girlfriend," and and I was like, "Oh, like girlfriend, girlfriend, or oh, girlfriend, girlfriend?" It's a new partners meeting, and she said, "My girlfriend," and I was like. Well, what kind of, and Dee Dee's over there, Mike, Mike. And I'm like, what? If, if you were sitting here with a man and I just said, is this, your, is this your man? How would that be offensive? So if I'm asking two women, is this your girlfriend, girl? And she said, yeah. 
And, and there was, people were like, ooh, what is he going to do now? I'm like, I am so amazed and impressed because you got to know what I stand for. And you, you joining this ministry today? And that's you like your girlfriend, girlfriend? And we had to move on, but they wanted to talk more. And I didn't know who they happened to be because they were e-partners. Well, one Wednesday, they walk in there together. I don't know who they are. They come up to me and say, you remember the new partners meeting? Well, here's my girlfriend I was telling you about. And I was like, oh, hey, come here, give me a hug. I was wondering what happened. And they were like almost borderline shocked. Then I said, come here, give me a hug. They want to meet, right? They want to meet. Oh, that's good. They want to sit down and talk. Mm -hmm. And then they have a child involved, okay. and they want me to bless the baby. Mm -hmm. You know, they want to have the regular mm -hmm. ceremony. Well, I got to share with them. So what do you do? You give them the truth and love. Mm -hmm. You understand? Know don't condemn them. Don't put them down. Don't make them feel like they are bound to hell. You know what I'm saying? Love them. The church should not send a bunch of people to hell. Man, have. what? So I, you know, I, I don't know. I, I don't, I, I don't, well, I do know why. It's difficult. It's difficult because we refuse to grow up. Paul said, when I was a child, I speak as a child. Here's the kicker. I understood as a child. And so that's, that's the problem right there. If your understanding is as of a child, then uh, that's the outcome you're going to get. The Bible says don't be drunk with wine in excess, but be wise. Grow up knowing what the will of the Lord is. Ephesians chapter number five. We got to get out of here. Uh, any other questions before we split? What an engaging night. It turned to be something entirely different than when I came here thinking <laughs> it was going to be, you know. And some of us just need to make quality decisions about a quality life. And if you trust God with all your heart, you don't have to settle for less. Amen. You know, sometimes we are hasty and doing and having things because we think this is the best we're going to have. And, uh, man, you can have more if you trust God. Amen. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on who? The on the Lord. Thank you for joining me. Amen. Yeah. Thank you for awesome. having me. I'm so excited to be a part of this ministry. Yeah. Uh, no question then. Uh, thank you for your perpetual, continual uh, giving. I, I asked about Danny tonight. Danny, if you watching, I hear you transition with respect to jobs and things that it won't, it's circumventing your being here that you still love us. We miss you so, so very much. And all of you who I have missed, I even asked about uh, partner Miss Jean Smith. I've been asking about, I haven't seen a whole lot of partners in a long time. I pray that you all are well. Uh, yeah, and living your best life in Jesus' name. So, so I mean, it, there, there's just people I, I have not seen. Thank you all for coming out and let me see some of y'all that I haven't seen in a while. But it's A-OK, -okay and uh, uh, let's start, you know, inquiring of the Lord about uh, returning, uh, at least by 2024. The pandemic is over. Come out, come out wherever you are. Yeah, yeah, it's safe to come out because you're proving that by going everywhere else. <laughs> that was so slick, wasn't that? Yeah. That was not right. Yeah. Okay, um, ways to give are on the screen. You can do that. If you're not born again, you need to be born again. If you're not spirit-filled, you need to be spirit-filled. And if you're without a pastor, you need a pastor. I would love to be a pastor. <laughs> I'm endeavoring to get out of here, man. Go home to Nassau real soon. Y'all pray that we have an a, a, a entrance to a supply to get out of here to fly to Nassau, Bahamas. In Jesus' name. Okay? Uh, close this out. 
Oh, you turned your mic off. How you gonna sign off? I thought you was closing this out. Hey, remember these words found in 2 Corinthians <laughs> chapter 5, verse 7, for we walk by faith, not, not by, by sight. sight. No, no doubt God. about it. Love you guys. <laughs>Hey there, I'm Pastor Breland Bowman, and I wanted to personally thank you for tuning in to today's service. I know that you had an encounter with God that has caused your life to go to the next dimension, but it does not have to end here. We have some information on the screen so that you can partner with us, or if you need to be saved, you can also use that same information because we want to make sure that all your spiritual needs are met. If you're in the DMV area, we want you to come and join us. We have our Temple Hills campus, our Brandywine, and our Baltimore campus. So plenty of campuses for you to be there. And also, if you can't, it's okay to be on eCampus. We love you too. But if you have any takeaways from today's service, we want to make sure that you're sharing with us, you're sharing with your friends, because we are teaching so that you may be a teacher. I cannot wait to see you soon, and I pray that you have an incredible week.